Do, 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 do. There we go. How are your ribs from last week? I wish I could say they were they were better, but uh, it's not as severe as people will state when you break two ribs, especially if they're of the lower column. So we got two small fractures. One doctor said a micro fracture. I'm trying to m minimize. Uh, it's not the worst thing that's ever happened to me in the ring. Probably won't be the worst thing that happens in my career. So it's just part of the part of the gig. Thank you. AJ Styles announced that he'll be having a net match against Naomi Chimara Fuji for mm -hmm. Wrestling Noah. Um, what are your thoughts about this match? Well, AJ Styles, I, I referred to him um, as a modern excellence of execution. You know, Bret Hart was the original excellence of execution, and I feel AJ really uh, follows that greatly in terms of AJ was already somebody who was doing new things and, and breaking the rules and part of the revolution in the industry. He was already a huge part of that. Uh, the most sought after free agent forever. And then finally here, we actually saw a better version of him. And you know, that's not always the case. Uh, but with age, AJ has gotten completely, you know, his game is complete in terms of how he is as a performer and a competitor. Um, and I, it's not, it's not hyperbole to say that Marafuji on the other side of the ring is how important he is to modern pro wrestling and modern sports entertainment. I mean, if you hit the ropes behind another guy, you call that a Marafuji. That's, that's a Marafuji forearm. That's what I do. It's part of my comeback that I have in my own matches. So just that, the fact that I've never gotten in the ring with him. That could be something that could happen down the road. And I very much look forward to what AJ, uh, I could see AJ Styles really showing out in Japan. Are you excited about coming back to Japan? Um, this is not an exaggeration at all. There's two places that my wife and I wanted to bring our daughter first internationally. And it was either gonna be London or, or Japan because of our experience uh, that we had in Japan, her experience doing stardom over there, my experience with New Japan, even previous to that when I was with WWE the first time. It's a very unique environment for a big American wrestling company going into Japan. It's different in the sense of how they respond, what they like, what they don't. It's, it's also similar in terms of looking out and seeing a generational, you know, families uh, coming to these events. But from a fan base perspective, it's the most welcoming country ever. And I'm sure we're annoying. We don't speak the language. We're, you know, I, I'm sure we can be a bit of a burden, but Japan is so welcoming and so wonderful. I actually am, I brought my mom to Scotland. I am bringing my daughter to Japan. So the first time she'll ever use her little baby passport is Japan. Nice. Did you notice a difference in the crowds, the fans? Mm, I feel like with me, maybe not because I was presented as the WWE guy, really. And I think that was the box that they wanted checked. And I mean that from the standpoint of management and the fans. I didn't really want so much of reinvention, but that was happening for me naturally anyways. And probably a huge, huge piece of my story with Japan is the fact that the American Nightmare, the name, the literal nickname comes from Japan. It was given to me just to simplify, hey, your dad was the American dream, you would be a bad guy, you're gonna be the American nightmare. Without that trip over there, I don't know what I'd be called today. So it, the American nightmare, you could say, was actually born in Japan. Um, but yeah, with the fans, it, I think I, I, the main thing I notice is just how, how warm and welcoming they are, especially when you're an outsider uh, and, and how much they deserve these events that they're getting.